interesting is that burnout is something that's actually getting worse in healthcare. And so a recent study that came out in the last year or so actually looked at physician burnout specifically and found that now more than half of physicians are burning out on some level. So that's, that's a pretty uh, alarming statistic when you find that more than half of a specific population are burning out. That's a great question. So there's specific warning signs for burnout. And the first warning sign I call the big three. So that's uh, the three big dimensions of burnout, which are exhaustion, cynicism, and inefficacy. So exhaustion and cynicism, everyone has a bad day, everybody has a bad week, we feel tired. This is more often than not you're experiencing a sense of being tired and exhausted. I call it, you know, instead of popping up in the morning, you know, to ready to go to work, it's sort of a slow drop and thud. Uh, ready to go to work. So those are the big three. And then in addition to that, um, what I tend to find is people who burn out tend to get sick more frequently. So they get little ticky-tack illnesses, they get colds more frequently, maybe they get flus, aches, and pains more frequently. And then the last one um, I call is every curveball is a major crisis. So your plate is so full that even just a really simple little ask by somebody or a favor seems like it is the biggest ask in the entire world and you just don't see how you can have a measure of being able to help and fulfill that. So there's a couple of ways that hospitals can attack the burnout problem. The first one is from an organizational standpoint. So we know that in order to really alleviate burnout and get better at making those statistics go in a better direction, organizations have to take some sort of responsibility for dealing with the problem. So organizations can start doing um, things that help promote engagement. They can take a strengths-based focus and ask people, what are you doing best on a daily basis and make sure that they're actually doing those types of things. Um, they can actually create something that's called a positive culture in the research. So making sure that people have a chance to really build high quality relationships with each other, that they can communicate in an assertive and respectful and effective way, and that they can really get good and better at talking about meaning. So meaning is a really important source for burnout prevention in organizations. And then from an individual standpoint, individuals can build what I call their stress resilience. So they can focus on how to grow and get better at and thrive during stressful situations. So again, meaning is a really important thing for individuals to focus on. Building high quality connections is really important. And then also thinking differently. Thinking differently about stress and building that mental toughness is really important too.